Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I wanted to share with you this cool second generation Seiko Monster. This is the reference SRP315. And uh, this is one of the more affordable Seiko Monsters that you can still find today. Most of the common colors, you know, you're all orange and you're all black. Those are going for around $400, so they've really just doubled in value. And this one you can still find for under $200, so it's a great, great price for an ISO certified dive watch, an in-house dive watch that makes a fantastic beater. It's got some really good details and features that just make it a very compelling package. So when you see pictures of this online, at least this color ver uh, variant, I'll admit it's kind of lackluster. It, it, it kind of looks plasticky. It doesn't look that enticing, but I'll tell you what, in flesh, in person, it looks awesome. <laughs> the details come to play and uh, it, it's it's really really cool so way better in person than in pictures so you have the PVD coated bezel with the white markers uh, if you get it in the right light you can see there's some satin brushing that go around the circumference of the bezel there's a nice deep slope from the outer portion of the bezel down into the crystal which is a very nice detail and I think aesthetically it's really cool how it plays with your uh, coated knurled crown your black chapter ring, your black day date complication, um, and then also your black handset. So really, really fun layout. And uh, I those handset, <laughs> let's talk about the handset. It's great. The loom is fantastic. It's bright. And the Seiko Monster has some of the more potent loom of their lineup for their dive watches. It's really, really impressive, as you can see here from, these, uh, from this drop-in from this video. And then once an hour, your minute hand crosses your hour hand and you get the famous Seiko rocket ship in form, which is always kind of a fun thing to see. So the watch is just chock full of fun, interesting details, really bold, really fun to wear. And I love the shark teeth like form of the indices. So hence the name monster, it kind of looks like a, either a squid or a shark, it's just really bold, really loud and really interesting. So you have a, a bracelet here. It's actually quite a good bracelet for the price point. And that's normally Seiko's Achilles heel is they just give you bracelets that leave you lacking. But this one, I'm actually a fan of and I wouldn't trade it out for say a strap code, which I normally would do on say a Sumo or a Turtle or an SKX. This bracelet's actually quite good. The links taper, they're short, they're comfortable, they're held together by pin and collars and then you've got a nice comfortable clasp with a flip lock push button release and then also a little dive extension at the top part there this is your case back you got the classic tsunami medallion it is an iso certified air diver it comes with a unique serial number and uh, it just it looks really sharp so fun watch to wear you can absolutely use this in water you know take it snorkeling take it to the beach swim with it, use it in water. It can absolutely withstand the abuse. And it's gonna be very legible with those big bold indices, the really potent loom. It's a fun one to wear. Honestly, guys, it's awesome. And this one was lent to me by my good friend, Mark Goldberg of Mark Vlogs Watches. I'll leave a link to his channel. Uh, he's a great guy. He features really fun watches, anything from Seiko to Jean Richard to Breitling and Rolex. He's got an awesome collection. And he's a, he's a great guy, he's a funny guy. So check out his channel if you haven't already. And um, I appreciate it, Mark, for, for lending me this awesome monster. Really, really fun. So um, negative points as we wrap up. There's no such thing as the perfect watch. This one has, uh, since it's so bold, it's just not to everyone's taste. I totally recognize that. Some of the edges of the partially shrouded case are a little sharp, uh, so you need to be aware of that. And then your bracelet, I like the bracelet and I like the taper, but the way it connects with the clasp, I think is just a little rough as you can see those little bumps there. Same on this side, there's just an unsightly jump down on that last link. If this just had a couple little improvements to where how the, uh, the bracelet meets the clasp, maybe filing down some of those sharp portions, this would be just about the perfect watch. It's really, really sweet, especially we can, you can buy one brand new for about $180. Um, just a crazy, crazy value. Great for our 36 movement. 
hacks and hand winds very very accurate this one's running within chronometer specifications which is just so awesome to see on an affordable dive watch so anyways that that's uh, those are my thoughts on this watch let me know what you guys think give me a like if you like the video give me a dislike if you did not enjoy it and i'll catch you in the next video cheers